Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 48. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our power management feature. Our power management is going to allow us to detune our engine if we have too much acceleration when we're in the quarter mile pass. If we get into a situation where we're getting into wheel spin, we're going to be able to detune our engine on the fly based on a variety of different programming conditions. That might be on time, that might be on vehicle speed, it could also be on drive shaft speed. We're going to be exploring how this works and how to implement it on your drag vehicle. We're gonna have a lot to cover. Let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at setting up and working with our power management function within the Max ECU. The power management function is gonna allow us to have a traction control type of limitation or limiter in place so that we can achieve the best quarter mile pass so we don't go into excessive wheel spin. There's a variety of different ways we can implement our power management as we're gonna be finding in this training tutorial. The very first thing I wanna do is actually take a look at the power management page and functionality and we can discuss our options in setting and configuring this up for your vehicle. First thing we need to do is jump in here to the left side of our screen and we're gonna go from our start here at the top and move down here under Motorsport. Under Motorsport, we're gonna move down here under Power Management. Now within the Power Management page, this is going to be right now set to the disabled status. We wanna to toggle this on and turn it to enable. Now we have two options, enable always on, enable by digital input. On a drag car, a dedicated drag car, I would recommend to run enable always on so the power management feature is always activated because we're not driving the car on the road, it's gonna be, tr it's gonna be track only or track oriented. If we're dealing with a car that might do have a dual purpose, so it's gonna be street and strip, in that situation, we would wanna go in here and choose enable by digital input so we could bypass and turn off the power management when we're on the road, but when we're at the drag strip and doing dedicated drag activities, then we would go here and toggle the switch on and enable it. So it's gonna be really what you're using your vehicle for and how dedicated it is for either drag racing or a combination of both for drag and street. So right now I'm gonna choose just enable always on for this training tutorial. Now the next thing, we find time after launch time or start mode. Now, this is where we need to make sure that we have our launch control already configured and set up. So we know that's gonna be working. We've covered how to set up and work with the launch control in a separate training tutorial. So I'm not gonna go back over this and all the options and programming details for this. I'm gonna assume that you have this set up and it's functional and it works for your vehicle. So the launch control is gonna hold us in a stationary RPM limiter when we wanna launch the car. It gives us very consistent launches it's gonna improve uh, the repeatability consistency of our vehicle at the drag strip. Now, once the launch control turns off, that's where the power management turns on. So the power management is gonna be used to get our wheel speed under control. So if we, we don't wanna go into massive wheel spin, uh, we wanna make sure that we're accelerating as fast as possible and we can track what's going on with this and how it's gonna be activating and how we can start to reduce the power if we go into wheel spin with this power management. But the key to note here is going to be the launch control is used for launching purposes. Once the launch control shuts off and we actually have the vehicle start to launch, that's where we move into power management. And that's what we have here for the time after launch time or start mode. So after we've exceeded and came out of the launch control, this input right here is gonna be starting the timing sequence for the power management because it's always gonna be in either uh, drive shaft RPM versus time, or it's gonna be a driven wheel speed versus time that we're gonna be setting up a theoretical acceleration rate curve as we're gonna be finding here and when we go through all the details down below. So in this case, um, we have an option here, launch control input release, clutch switch input release, trans brake input release, and sense speed. Now sense speed is the easiest option as soon as it senses any kind of movement in our wheel speed sensor, it'll actually go in and it'll uh, start to turn on the timing sequence for the power management to work. Now, if you are using sense speed, I would recommend that you have it set up here for a switch. So this enabled by digital input, because if you're going into the burnout box, for example, you do a burnout, as soon as it sees your speed, it's gonna start the timer sequence. And then as soon as you stop again, theoretically, it should restart it as you go into the bulb and you're, and you're getting yourself into the beam but as you're bumping yourselves into the beam, it may falsely trip it. So you wanna make sure that you can toggle this on as soon as you're ready to stage the vehicle and put it into the beams. And that's gonna be using this sense speed option. But in most cases for a drag car, you're either gonna be having some kind of dedicated, to put this back to always on here, you're gonna having some kind of dedicated input here to trigger your launch control. And then once you let go of that input, 
it'll go in and actually um, turn off the launch control and then we can use it to activate the power management. Now in this case, I'm gonna assume that um, my, my particular case here, I'm gonna be using a tram, trans brake input release. Um, in this case, I'm gonna get on the trans brake to stage the car and then once I let go of the button, it'll come off of the launch control here and it'll go in right into the power management. But you do have these different options here depending on how you wanna configure things. I'll use a trans brake input release. Now down below here, we're gonna have our power management settings. We actually have two different ways we can implement our power management. We have this time after launch and speed-based active power management. Now, if you don't have any kind of wheel speed sensor wired in to your max ECU, um, so you're dealing with no drive shaft speed or you're dealing with uh, you have no wheel speed sensors, you can use our time after launch power limit as an option here. If you wanna use a speed-based active power management, we have to have either a drive shaft speed or wheel speed sensor or transmission speed sensors wired in. Let's go and take a look at this. So if both of these are set to disable right now. Um, Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.